Hey you folks, this is Akash Shivain back to you once again. This is going to be how to make a cheap Tarantula sling setup. My B Hamori, that is early, that was earlier known as B Smithy, has molted and he's, and has been growing pretty fine. And so I just feel like upgrading its setup. I think it needs deeper substrate because if you can see this box is very shallow. So I couldn't provide it much substrate, hardly an inch. But now I feel that it should be provided more substrate and some more terrestrial area. And we are trying to keep it very budget, a very budget project. So I'm going to use very cheap things, which won't cost much. So as you can see, this is my B Hamori right now. It's a really beautiful specimen and it's going to mold sometime very soon. So it's losing its colors a bit. Let's see. So for the main project what we are going to use is a, a sandwich box basically. This is a small sandwich box good enough to cater the needs of the sling for like 3 to 4 months more. It's I think 3.5 inches in height. It's roughly 4 to 5 inches in length and 3 inches in width. So we have a plastic lid over here which is transparent and I have already made holes for ventilation as you can see the holes. So we start with the basic thing that we always do filling the box with cocoa peel. I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry, I forgot one thing. What I always do is I just moisten the lower level of the substrate a lot so that it maintains the moisture. Though Beesmithies are not very fond of a lot of moisture, but still I prefer this thing. I just make the lower layer of the substrate very damp, very damp. Going to cover it with some more cocoa peat to have a dry layer. So as you can see this is making roughly 2 inches of cocoa peat layer which would be good enough for digging.
Also, I always like to keep one side of the substrate more higher than the other, like a slope going on the terrarium. Now for the decorations. Let's start with placing a simple pebble inside. Adding a bit of water so that cocoa bean can hold these pieces in place. Now comes the water dish. Here we go. Now it's the time to transfer the slime. Always keep a catch cup ready when you are having slings with you or even the bigger tarantulas because sometimes they are very swift and they can escape in like a blink of a second. My behamori is very friendly and I'm very used to handling this so I'm doing it my way but I would suggest that others who are watching this video don't copy these methods for transferring a sling because especially with the aggressive species because behamoris are very docile and they are very friendly and so you can do it with them if you are comfortable but if you come towards baboons or poisilotherias don't ever think of even doing this or you'll get or you will get being bitten. I'm so sorry my dog is again and again interrupting me in the middle. I just push the tarantula a bit and let it walk towards my hand. As you can see this is one of the most beautiful tarantulas like it hasn't even gained all of its colors but the Mexican red knee species that just attracts me a lot. Just blowing some air towards it so that it moves inside the setup. It's a tight container now. So as you can see, this was fairly a very, very cheap Tarantula setup. This would hardly cost you two dollars maybe or even less than that. So it's just perfect. 
for any newbie to begin with. Thanks for watching guys. Keep following me, keep sharing my videos and keep liking and commenting if you have any queries and if you like my videos. Thank you so much.